excited when we can cut him loose. Uh, and then Xavier's getting better. He's getting better. He's he's uh, you know still a little inconsistent at times, but then he'll flash, and that's kind of where he is right now. He's a, he's a flash guy. I mean, we've got to get him just that consistency day in and day out, and just you know continue to develop his confidence in what he's doing. Uh, but uh, you know, he's just going to be a sophomore. He's 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 on. On that track. I know uh, tempo has been a priority for your offense this spring. Is, is that one of the big things you'll be evaluating on Wednesday in the scrimmage? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's why I love when we have the crews here, the, the ACC crews, because they can, you know, I mean, it's a, you get a re very realistic measure of, of how you're doing. But we've done it. It's been good at practice. I mean, I've tried to drive it and, uh, and you know keep us keep us on schedule there. But it's guys are responding. I've been I've been very pleased with that. And part of that is just again just. Having a lot of guys that have, know what they're doing, you know, and they can kind of go to the next level. Um, just like those defensive line guys. I mean, those guys, they're not just talented, they're savvy. I mean, they're, they're experienced and smart. And, and when you have that, you play faster. It's just a natural. And that's, that's where we are right now offensively. I think, I, think, uh, I think our tempo will be much better, you know, this year than, than where it was last year. Jackson Carmen walked by, one of the biggest human beings I think I've seen in a long time. Maybe too big, but what does he have to do to get into that conversation to play? Yeah, well, he's just got to go through the process. I mean, it's it's hard. I mean, you, you, you got talented guys that that just know more right now, and he's just doing what exactly what he's got to do. He's got to first of all, he's got to uh, he's got to lean up a little bit. Uh, a big, he's a big guy, and he can move, but but he's 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 still. He'll be a different guy when we get about 20 pounds off of him, and so and he's committed to that. He's doing a great job and trying to buy into what he's got to do uh, to get his body where it needs to be to to really help him perform at his highest level. Uh, but he can, you know, he'll be able, you know because he can bend, but but he'll be able to bend better. Um, but the biggest thing is just knowledge. I mean, just knowledge. I mean, you go, them guys, man, they got like 39 pressures in, you know, on defense. I mean, it's just almost not fair, you know, to some of those young offensive linemen because it's, there's a lot of moving parts, you know. They're very seldom in one spot and they're all over the place. And, Brent doesn't know that. You know, Brent, Brent is hard, you know, but it's just like I said, I mean, we, we've got a lot of pressures, a lot of looks. But like I said, very seldom if he lines up there, does he stay there? And, you know, it's just, it's a lot on a young guy. That's a very, very hard position to pick up. But he's doing great, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly, incredibly pleased with him because he's not afraid to fail. You know, that's what I like about him. Some young guys come in and they're, they are afraid to fail because you know they're supposed to live up to some. You know, like they're just supposed to be, especially big guys. But he's, he's not afraid to fail. He knows he's very self-aware. Uh, but he likes it. He, he, he likes football. He likes practice. Uh, he likes the physicality of it, and he, he wants to get better. And when you, have, when you have that mindset and you have the talent that he has, you're going to get better. So he just got to continue to do what he's doing, and that's just show up and bring it every day. And, you know, he's getting coached hard, uh, Coach Caldwell. Uh, but he's, uh, he's going to be a great player for us. Coach, you covered basketball. Uh, baseball team is ranked as high as number two, 15 yeah. and one. Have you been yeah. able to make your way to? I have, and I was going to go this weekend, but I'm just going to tell you, it was too dang cold. Uh, <laughs> you got that right. I, hey, man, I, I just, I'm, I am a bad cold baseball guy. Um, <laughs> but i man, I've kept up. I've listened to the radio. Uh, I've had fun listening to Spires and, and <laughs> KP and some of the guys. That's been fun. Uh, but. Uh, Awesome start. I mean, just so proud of, of uh, where we are. You know, Monty's doing an awesome job, and you know, I mean, he'd be the first to tell you they got a long way to go. And but you know, it's I just they just seem to have a great mindset right now that it's next pitch. You know, I, I was listening to the game on the radio. I, I think they were playing Michigan State maybe a week or so ago. They were in they were in Greenville. That's like I, I think I, I don't know where I was going, but I was in the car and it was like six nut. I'm like crap. <laughs> and their butts kicked. Then I get back in the car and it's like six six. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> and this is college baseball, you know. And it's like they had some nine inning know, fifth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. But but that's that's hard to do, and I, especially you know because a lot of times you get down like that. You, if you're not mature enough or you don't have the right ingredients within your team locker room, you know that game can get away quick. 
Uh, but to see him kind of dig in and just say, okay, hey, it just takes one. One guy gets hit, one guy gets a walk, you know, whatever. Uh, one guy steals a base, and next thing you know, yeah, you've got a couple runs, and just they just have this belief. You know, so because baseball is a hard game, man. There's a lot of failure in baseball, as we know, but they've got a belief that. You know they're going to win, and I think I think Monty and the staff, man, they that that doesn't just happen. They, they they've they've done a good job of instilling that in that team. Said the coach of the Orange Crush. That's right. <laughs> we haven't started yet, but we're getting we're soon we're soon. We got C team <clears throat> ball right now, but we'll be we'll be breaking training here soon. <laughs> Anything else? That's it. Thanks, Thanks,